All right, guys. Here we are. I left you in the last episode very curious of what the Magmoor Caverns are. And here we are. After a whole day of waiting. Oh, I hope you didn't wait too long. Ah. Um, <laughs> with all my extremely sarcastic remarks aside, we are going here. Yeah, these are just regular Shriek Bats. Don't worry about scanning them. These are also just regular Shriek Bats. Do not worry about scanning them. Um, yeah. So in the last episode, we got a whole bunch of goodies. Many, many missile expansions were acquired. We also got more fall bombs, charge beam... And we got the Varia suit, so yeah. I'm gonna save here, um, just because, well, I'm recording the first three episodes back to back to back, and my voice is dying right now. Ooh, no, okay. Um, see, I'll prove to you this regular Shriek Bat. See, regular Shriek Bats. There is another variant of Shriek Bat that we will be getting to later. What we want to do now is scan this thing. A Grisby. Um, Subvolcanic Carrion Feeder, yada yada yada. It can be beached by missile. Like ha, sucker! Okay. I don't know why I killed that thing. They're not even, like, they don't even harm you, really. They just kind of, like, walk around. But they're fun to kill because they just walk around, I guess. Hey, hey, fire, stop that. Yeah, there's a lot of. Oh, here we go. These are called burrowers, you guys. I hate them. They are so dang annoying. They don't even do, like, damage. They just... They suck. That's all. They just suck, man. Um, but here we are introduced into the actual Magmoor Caverns. This is probably one of my least favorite places in the game for reasons that I have no idea. It's just not a very appealing place to me, personally. I don't know why. It's not a bad place. It's actually kind of fun. But, oh, we just blew the head off that Magmar. Those are Magmars, by the way, guys. You want to scan these um, little explosive pylon things. I don't even know what you would call them. Little fart dusters, I guess. Because they, they, uh, um, and then shoot all these boxes, even though we don't have to. We just want to bomb this right here. Go through a little more, and then bomb this one. Right Boom. All right. And I'm going to shoot all the little fart dusters, just because they get quite annoying. Um, they're not dead, obviously. They can, they, they can be annoying when they're dead. No, they can't. Alright, so here we have one of the greatest enemies of all time. The Triclops. Oh my god, I hate these things, dude. So what you want to do is you want to go into their little den here. And then you want to lay a bomb, and that will explode them. I can't tell you how much, like that, if you, um, if you rotate your control stick there, they will not be able to hold on. So just do that. Just rotate, rotate, rotate. Um, what am I even doing? Oh, that's right, I'm grabbing the missile expansion. Spoilers, if you uh, care about that kind of stuff. I just hit my desk. I swear it was an accident. Where, where is the entrance? Where's the entrance? Okay, one second. I'm gonna find the entrance. Oh, there it is. Here's the entrance. Bam! There's the entrance. It's kind of hidden. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I have to say. Come on, Triclops, dude. All right. So we gotta go this way, to the right, to the left, to the left, to the left, to the angel shovel left, whatever the heck that shovel is called, I don't remember. <laughs> so this is a really, really, really cool area, you guys. I don't know, it's just like a really out of the way room and it looks sick as crud. Um, there we have some missile expansion though. That is really the only reason I came out here. Um, I forget what I need to be doing right now. I turned off the uh, tutorial stuff because I knew. I was like, yeah, I know what's going on. I played this game recently. Uh, no, no, I don't know what's going on. I was dumb to do that. 
So I will meet you guys when I figure out just exactly what it is that I have to do, all right? All right, I don't know why I just made that accent a thing, but it's a thing now. I was totally going the right way. Um, <laughs> I'm stupid. Sometimes. Most of the times. Don't. Why you guys have to call me dumb? It's not nice. All right. But what I want to do is I want to grab these two energies here real fast, and then I want to go through here. And I've already scanned these butthole things. I'm just going to walk through the fire in flames because I don't need a car. Don't need a car. But I said that. Um, yes. This is probably one of my least favorite areas for some reason in this game. Mostly because of the cannons that respawn every time you come in here and they always shoot you around everywhere. Gosh dang it, stop it. If I die in here, I'm going to be so salty, dude. Can't die on easy or normal or whatever the heck this is called. Bam! Get wrecked, son. Okay, so now that we've got that out of the way, I think there's a pirate data in here if I do remember correctly. Is this a pirate data? There's no pirate data, you guys. I was lying. Ooh, that's right. All right, so I do want to grab this. Um, since I got the double jump, I'm gonna get this out of the way really fast. There's the pirate date I was thinking of. No, that's the bridge. We can't do that yet. Um, I might as well scan it though. It's a boost ball little thing there. Uh, huh. And it will raise a bridge going that way in order for us to go along there, over there, and into that room, which gives us something that we're going to need much later in this game. So, pretty much me coming up here was pointless. Yay! I love being pointless! No, I don't. No, I don't. But what we are going to want to do is go to ya. Oh, crud, I just messed up. Okay, so, this is much easier in the trilogy version, but you want to time your jumps, and I messed up horribly. Of course. Uh -huh. So, you want to time your jumps, which I can't do, apparently. Great, great, yeah, um, I'm gonna die before this is actually successful. Let me actually listen to this volume so I can find this better. There we go, finally! Okay, so, with the, um, Wii U version, or the Wii version, or whatever, the trilogy version, I guess, you can just jump, and then at the crest of your jump, you can lay a bomb, and then you can, um, jump again and that bomb will explode by the time you jump again and it's far easier than what I just did what I did is pretty much just a GameCube thing because nobody does that anymore um you lay a bomb and then you wait for it to tick I showed this off in the last episode what am I even talking about and then you lay another bomb at the crest of your jump and then you lay a bomb before your jump goes off I don't know it's hard to explain it's easier to just try it it's like a double jump you're just in a bomb. Yay, missiles! Woo! Yay, missiles! Okay. So what you're going to want to... As I get interrupted once more... <sighs> Thank you, Fendrana Drifts. One of my favorite areas in the game, by the way. It's very, very confusing. Uh, which is saying a lot because I think Magmore Caverns is confusing. And that is a relatively straightforward area. This is going to be fun. Um, excuse me. Okay, you want to scan these dudes? They're flicker bats. Um, quite useless. You want to blow this up with a missile. You can't blow it up with anything else. You want to scan these guys. They suck. They are only killable by missile. And a weapon that we get much later. And we want to scan that board in the back. Very, very quickly. I mean, you don't have to do it quickly if you don't want to. Or you're new here and you want to just check stuff out. Does it mean the door? There's just a safe station here I wanted to show off. Um, these are useless. Okay. I wasn't sure, so I, uh, hey, I said sure correctly, you guys. But I wasn't sure, so I just wanted to check to see if those were any, if those had any use. Let me speak correctly. Thank you. But what we want to do is you want to come up here. Now, this is going to be a little tougher if you didn't finish the glitch, and you're probably not going to be following this LP if you didn't do the glitch, because it's going to be confusing as heck. Um, but you pretty much just go up the side right there, and then you jump this way. Cool. Alright, you want 
want to scan these guys again, or these are different ones. The um, other ones drop bombs. These ones just kind of get in the way. You don't have to worry about them. They don't do all that much damage. Not a problem. So, in here, in here, we have these little ice mountains, which are actually enemies. Baby Shigiths. These are just amazing enemies. I had such a hard time fighting these as a kid. I was like, oh, they're hitting them. And then I figured out you have to shoot their backs. And they're really, really freaking easy. If you just, um, if you do two missiles, they die in like half a second. Not even a problem. Um, I just never knew to shoot their backs because I never scanned them. I never scanned anything when I was younger, and uh, that was a mistake. That's why I scan stuff now. Uh, I mean, I know pretty much everything about this game now, but whatever. At least I think I do. Watch me have missed something, and I just look like a total moron. Um, we already scanned these guys in the other room. We obviously don't need to rescan them. Uh, I just messed up. That's fantastic. Whatever, I think I can jump up here, right? Yeah. Damn! Okay, so, what I wanted to do... What? Where am I going? Oh, I think I'm in a different area right now. Psh. Okay. I'm... I'm smart, cool. I am smart. Okay, here we are. There's a... An enemy that is a limited scan. You want to scan these? These are ice... Burrowers or whatever the heck they're called. Um, just scan them. Just, just scan them. Um, we could have skipped all this because I have the space jump boots, but I didn't because might as well show it off. No reason to not to. Plus, I wanted to scan those dudes, so we did that. Excuse me. Thank you. All right, so we want to go through here. There's two more baby Shigas. Don't worry about them. We want to go to the right immediately. We want to scan this Chozo lore. Chozo script translated. None know if our temple, the cradle, will provide powerful enough, will prove powerful enough to contain this evil forever. How can we, Chozo, hope for it to remain intact when that which it guards withers in the darkness, growing always stronger? The fate of this world rests with the gathering of the artifacts we call the Cypher. But even it is not all powerful. It is strong, yes, an enchanted hole made of twelve links. Still, it is finite in, this re in its research, and we who guard it are slowly succumbing. When our vigilance crumbles away into madness, the cipher will be exposed, and the fate of Talon 4, I'll start saying 4, you guys, will be beyond our influence. So that's a fairly um, dark and menacing, really. If you're following the lores and the storyline, oh, scan this by the way. There's a, this is a limited scan. It's a stalactite. Whatever. However you want to say stalactite. Some say stalactite. Some say stalagite. I don't know. Whatever. Just stalactites. Okay, but here is a all oh, another limited time scan. If Andromeda Drift is just full of these, these are ice shriek bats. Don't. Don't really worry about them. They're just as easy as the other Shriek Bats were. And I meant to go this way. Whoopsies. Um, here is another missile door, so if you haven't scanned that, scan it. God, I feel like I'm just repeating the same thing over and over in every single episode. So, just go through here. Don't worry about these guys. Um, and here we are. One of my most favoritist areas. And don't forget this, you guys. If you care about the scans again I said it there's another Chozo lore here many Chozos have gone beyond now and this is a mercy those of us who remain suffer in dimensional in a dimensional flux drifting helplessly across time and space guided by unseen and inexorable inexorable currents the Chozo who cling to sanity fight the tide but our minds are weakening soon we will all be like the turn, Chozo, who have been utterly corrupted by the great poison. The turn still hold to their Chozo forms, but their minds are black and fell with fell intentions. Whoops. Gone is their respect for life. They honor only destruction and seeks out to disrupt the artifacts holding the great poison at bay. 
all life taunts them, and they do not rest. Before long, they will be all that remain of the Chozo here. Alright, you guys. So, I feel like we've discovered enough of these Chozo lores for me to merit some more dialogue about the story of this game. So, there was a few comets, if you do remember, drifting unto Talon IV, or 4, if you'd rather. I just missed it. Um, there was comets when we were on this friggin' Orphean, right? Um, and they were going towards the planet. They were all re- Gosh, dang it, dude. They were re-entering the planet's atmosphere. Or entering, rather. They weren't re-entering it. Oh my gosh, this freaking spike thing is gonna annoy the hell out of me. Die! Okay. So, they were entering the atmosphere of Talon 4. And that... See that <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, they were entering the um, airspace of Talon 4, and what those meteorites, if you will, or asteroids, I do not know the difference, I've said this before, pretty sure they're meteorites because they were still in space though, um, what they had on them was this ore slash liquid typey stuff called Phazon, and Phazon is this indestructible corruption thing that the Chozo lores keep referencing. And it's corrupting everything on this planet, which is why everything is turning evil. Like these guys, everything. Everything is turning evil because of the Chozo, or the uh, Faison, excuse me. And yeah, it's pretty crazy, you guys. Where was I going with that? I don't even remember. Um, but yeah, the, um, Faison's corrupting everything, that's why everything is all evil and stuff. It's corrupted the Chozo to a point where their ethereal beings, after they have already died, are starting to attack them and kill the rest of the Chozo that are good still. Which is why we don't find any Chozo on this planet whatsoever as the time, as the point in time where we come here. And hold on! We are getting an epic overview of the area and Meta Ridley's non-flapping wings even though they're clearly flapping wings oh now his wings start flapping in the shadow <laughs> yeah you guys it's pretty great um yeah so that was just a little little thing about the Chozo um we're going to be going back into Magmore Caverns really fast. I do believe. If I remember correctly, everything that's going on here. Or did I already get this thing? I do not recall. Gonna do it anyway. If, um, if not, I will meet you guys at the temple that was in Fendrana Drifts to the right as soon as we entered it. Because that is the next actual destination. Alright guys? Um, just a second. Right, you guys, so it seems that I was remembering correctly what exactly we have to do here. <laughs> I don't know why I thought we had to stay in the so There is something we can grab if we go this away. Here we have this strange looking glass, which I want to show off. It is Bendizium. Um, probably like, what the heck is Bendizium? Well, that is something that we have to worry about far later. Um, and we don't. Here because I got greedy. If you don't get greedy, you can skip that, I guess. It doesn't really matter. Does not really matter. Uh -huh. But you want to go into here in this little pit thing and die, Triclops, go away. Nobody likes you. Alrighty. Wait, what? Oh, that's right. It's here. I still wanted to go through there. So you want to jump. And then, oh, I just fell into the bottom. This is glorious. This is a gloriously warm bath. I like my bath water hot. Damn. Cool. So you want to be very, very, very cautious here. This is a much more forgiving one than, whoa, than later in the game. It's just a little 
morph ball area. I almost fell off. And um, we get a missile expansion here. All right, so we want to go backwards now. All right. Whoa, I almost fell off again. We want to go this way, and we're pretty much just backtracking. Yeah. Um, now is the time that you would actually be getting a space jump boots. So if you haven't got those yet, and you didn't follow the LP, and you went and you did your own thing, now you're tuning in. Well, now, now is the time. So this right here will take us to the Talon Overworld. If you wish to go there, um, we can't do anything through this room just yet. We do need something to traverse this area. Um, I am shooting something to traverse the area, but we can't have that yet because of reasons. That's all you need to know. Because of reasons, we can't do that yet. Ha, sucker. Just kidding. All right, so we want to go up. Up to the Talon Overworld. There's a few things we can grab, such as a missile expansion and... Maybe something else, but no spoilers here. And the no scan. Because scans are important, you guys. There's a zoomer. Zoomer hit me. Whoops, whatever, I don't care. So, hmm, I always wondered what this stuff was. Like it's super steamy and and it's it's steamy and uh, it's steamy and it looks brown and it must be poop. I think it's poop. And that just looks like a giant pile of alien poop to me, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm not. I don't know. But, what we are doing now, what we are doing now, is we are doing this. We are going up, and up, and up, and up, and more up, and even more up, and I need to stop saying up so that much, and more up, yes. So, if we, uh, do have an item, we can swing over yonder. We already scanned that guy. We can swing off that and go over there and up there. And there's a few, like, strange things up there that we can use and whatever. It's pretty awesome. So here we want to scan this bro. And we want to shoot this orange thing above his head and shoot that green thing. And then he disappears because he dies. Very, very, very easily dies. Oh, you guys might remember this area. If you do, good, good for you. This is, like, the very first episode. But what we want to do here is we want to boost ball off this ramp. Owie, why do you do this? Oh, cool, I didn't even know this. If you boost ball into these things, they die. That is awesome, actually. Um, excuse me, boost ball. Please work faster. Thank you. Okay, so we are on top. Whoa, don't let the zoomers knock you off. They um, actually do some decent knockback. So, note. This is how you should get to the space jump boots. Just letting you guys know, I don't need to do this, but I'm doing it for you, bros. Um, I'm not PewDiePie. Why did I even say that? I was like, I stole his word, man. I stole his word, but yeah, you would, um, if you didn't do the glitch to get up there, you would just jump across there and bada boom, bada bing, bada ding, dang, dang. This is pretty much it, yeah. But now that we have the Morph Ball, we can go into this little area here, and we get a missile expansion. And we want to go backwards, and bam! Ta-da! Good stuff. And now we want to go back through here, and pretty much just retrace our steps, get back to Magmar Caverns. I died. Where was my last save? I don't even remember. Oh no, this is not good. Oh no, you guys, I died. Um, well, I guess that is. I was going to um, do some stuff, but it looks like 
It looks like um, I'm gonna have to, yeah, stop. <laughs> oh goodness. Okay, well that's all I'm gonna have time for today. I don't want to retrace all my steps and get back to where I was. And then, yeah. <laughs> I can't believe I just died, dude. That's so... Wow. Anyway, you guys, have a good day. Eat your vegetables. Antibac is signing off. Later. Later, guys. Sorry that this episode was so strange and I died at the very end. And now it's going to be shorter than normal, but whatever. You don't care. It, it, you shouldn't care. I don't care. So please don't care, all right? All right, thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.